Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to do another vintage Lego train set review. This one's a pretty simple, basic set, but it is old. It's from 1970. It's set 126, the steam locomotive, or a push steam locomotive. Um, it's very simple. It's pre-minifigure, although a minifigure, I think, can almost fit in there. We'll see in a second. It has mostly common pieces. Uh, I guess the r rare pieces would be the printed bricks with the set number on them, which are pretty neat looking, uh, and the couplers and the wheels, but then the wheels aren't even that rare, or the couplers. Uh, it's just built on a 6x16 six plate. It can be converted to a motorized train if you have set 103. Um, I'm not going to convert it on this video. It's a little more involved, and it ends up looking just like all the other black train locomotives <laughs> that they made. They had this similar tank engine look. So let's look at it closer. All right, here's a closer look at it. I love the gold printing. A lot of the uh, train sets had a brick. It could be a 1x4, as it is in this case, or 1x6 or 1x8 or something with the set number on it that made the locomotive number so that was always cool and same on the other side then you have these wheels that are just on the old uh, wheel holders these wheels would um, sometimes they would say um, have something on the inside like this has got the uh, car logo on it so it doesn't have the grooves on it they're usually the ones with the locomotives if they were motorized it had grooves so that it would um, be able to have some traction. Let's put this thing back together. But since this is just a push locomotive, you didn't need those type of wheels. And if you got set 103 to convert it to a motorized unit, then uh, you'd use the wheels that came with set 103. Let's see if a minifigure can fit in here. A little uncomfortable. Take it off. Oh no, fix his legs. Alright, I'm going to drive the train. There we go. So there you have it. There's really not much to the set. Just basic plates, bricks, some slopes. These little red windows, which aren't, aren't terribly rare. So basically, if you can find the couplers, the wheels, the windows, and the printed bricks, everything else is common. So, uh, not a not an expensive set to make, but uh, a, a vintage one nonetheless. It's from 1970, the push locomotive, steam locomotive. Thanks for watching this review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Brickzar.